I'm Katherine Kirkland, and I'm a current resident of Lenexa, Kansas. I've always had a fascination ever since the Hubble photographs became available with the beauty of the nebula and the universe. It's, it's a fascinating unknown. And so that has been where I've been drawing my inspiration for my space series is some of the photos of nebula. They're colorful, they're organic in shape, they're sparkly, I mean, they just have all kinds of intriguing elements. So I, I work from those photos in that I take inspiration from them in terms of general form, but I abstract them and then uh, reinterpret them in paint and dots. I think I mentioned this to you uh, earlier where we talked about it's not just outer space that intrigues me, but it's inner space. And there have been a couple of medical discoveries that also just kind of inspired me to think about what does that look like inside the human body. Uh, a painting called Interstitium is based on an organ that was discovered in March last year where uh, scientists discovered that there is space in between cells that they didn't think had a purpose but have now decided it does and that it actually allows cells to communicate to each other. And then more recently there was a discovery, and I can't even pronounce it, it's four words, um, where it was discovered that there is an, another organ in our skin that is a pain sensor that actually senses pain before our nerves sense pain. So it's, it's sort of the genesis of the pain transmission to our brain. Well, that fascinated me too. I saw an image of that that was a slide dissection and I thought, ooh, that, that kind of looks like a cool inner space to paint. So that's another one that's on the drawing board, so to speak. But uh, so inner outer space, and, you know, exploring mindfulness, what does that look like? Those are the kinds of things that inspire me. Oh, I can really twist my mind around and think about uh, how we fit into the universe. I think that we are just tiny little organisms in a vast, vast universe, whether that universe is small, and one of many I, I, I don't know, but I, I am always, if I ever get to feeling too big for my britches, so to speak. Um, I like to remind myself that not so much. <laughs> we really are pretty small in the scheme of things. We really are pretty small in nature. And it doesn't take getting out to the mountains to bring that home when you see how vast mountains are compared to us. I want to do art that amazes people where they look at it from afar and then get up closer and go, oh my gosh, that's all thoughts. I, I love seeing them interact and, and react to that and then you know, walk away with a smile because that's what I want to do, make people happy looking at my art. We've got enough sadness in the world. Let's do something fun and escape. So.